This episode's FTR shoutout goes to Feral Artist. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. Yo, what is actually going on, Fish Fam Cory Gang? It's your boy Chris. What up, mom? Back at it again with the Corium Co op merch. What you know about Murphy? What you know about black on red? No, not left on red, black on red. <laughs> Okay, we out here about to start your Monday off just right unless you're in Australia because you don't roll like that. That's okay, I understand. The Australians want to get their week over with a little bit faster because on the weekends is less likely to get killed by one of the 500 different venomous species of animals over there. Alright, let's get it started. Fish tank review. One of the main makers of fish abusers, believe it or not, is Santa Claus. Who would have thought? I wouldn't have guessed. I've never seen him like this. Me? Yeah. I'm not used to having a fish on my lap whose life I'm responsible for going through. We need to protect this man at all costs. I don't care what anybody says. This alpha chad needs to be protected at all costs. This is something you say if you truly care about the animal. This is not something that a fish abuser would say. And that's important. That kind of attitude, it's not just another fish to this guy. Yes, there are many fish, but this one is his and it is his responsibility and he feels that. People who just go like, it's just another fish, whatever. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. <laughs> Is the fish still alive? Yes. You really have to rethink a few things. You find yourself asking, is the fish still alive? Presumably on the same day you got it for your friend. Not a lot of room there. <laughs> I don't know. What, what does it say, honestly? Well, I just looked up our beta fish sad and bulls. It says nine reasons why fish are really sad pets. Beta fish and bulls, just say no. Betas will not thrive if kept in a box. Stop funny! <laughs> But now I am feeling very bad. Wow, about this peer stuff. pressure. Even through peer oh. pressure from his absolute clowning friends or family, making fun of him, laughing at him, snickering at him as he Googled, should fish, should better fish be put in bowls? And it's a big, loud, resounding no. This should honestly motivate and inspire kids and people his age or even older to stop just looking at fish as decoration, as expendable. Anyways, this guy deserves a pat on the back. He has stood up to all the opposition and came out still a respectable human being five out of five keep it up well hey guys quick pause it is now 2022 and i don't think we can get through the year without talking about vpns because security and accessibility and i think these two factors can always improve and one of the easiest ways to make a huge improvement right off the bat is to use a vpn service so thank you to nordvpn for sponsoring this week's ftr nordvpn is a very popular professional grade put your mind at ease vpn that is going to immediately improve your online experience it's easy to use. Connect with one click or enable auto connect for zero click protection. There's more than 5,200 servers in 59 countries. Simply find a server near you for better speed or in far away location for more content. Since we're talking speed, oh boy is it fast. And confirmed by speed tests to be fast. It is actually the fastest VPN out there. What's awesome is you can use it for six different devices on every major platform. Windows, Android, iOS, Mac OS, Linux. Even your Android TV supports NordVPN. You can find streaming platforms at lower price. Is a platform not available in your country? Just change your virtual location. Are you a gamer and is a game not available in your country? Look, I've been waiting for the game Lost Ark to come to North America for a decade. It's been like 12 years of my life. I'm finally gonna make it happen. I'm not waiting for you anymore, Lost Ark. I'm coming to you. Go to nordvpn.com slash fishforthought to get a two-year plan plus one additional month with a huge discount. Plus, it's 30 days money-back guarantee, so there is no risk. COVID testing site. Bull. It's probably 60 degrees Fahrenheit in here. Doubt that the heat stays on overnight. Dr. Handsome, MD. As if a COVID testing site isn't hectic, busy, and messy. You gotta add more chaos to the fray. The nameplate makes me think they care about this fish but don't know about his needs. Have you considered reaching out with information and connecting them with local queries who might be able to help? There was no staff there. The guy at parking validation was yelling that they're half staffed. There was signs everywhere along the lines of don't call us, we'll call you. Just like that first video we watched, I think people are going to deprioritize that, laugh at you about it, and think how ridiculous is that? I don't 
don't know what the best thing to do here is, but perhaps it's not the hill you want to die on. Maybe just leave them a message or even a written note and just leave it on the desk. Pets Court submission by Peroxine88. This looks like a Fluval Flex. Very clean build. I love the River Rocks. The hardscape is very clean, very simple. There's a sort of like tube thing going on. I'm not sure what that is. Are you maybe gravel vacuuming it as you were taking the photo? I'm not sure what happened. There's Hornwort and Ludwigia or maybe Rotala in the back and it's just covered the back. It's just a background of green and I love that. You don't get perfect carpets in nature, especially in the river bottoms and it is more sparse planting like this embedded throughout the rocks naturally. I'm digging it. 4.2 out of 5. Keep it up. Sea turtle hatchling in freshwater tank. My new friend. My best is a friend. What has the world come to? How is this possible? Is that an actual like living sea turtle? Where did they get a whole sea turtle and put it in their life buried? This is so embarrassing. Seems highly illegal. Gee, I, I don't know. Seems normal to me, to be honest. Sea turtle, fresh water. I just imagining if I had a sea turtle in my 88 cube garden, like that's how much acid did you saw through the comments? He mentioned that he had returned it back to the store or to the sea. <laughs> All right, again, if you have to ask such a question, you need to reconsider your life choices. Uh, hey YouTube, where's that dislike button? Wait, you removed it? So now we can't let other viewers know that this is a crappy thing to do. Agree, 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 a hundred percent. I would do anything to get that dislike button back. People teach other people what to do and how to do it all the time. And a quick look on the dislike to like ratio can give me a quick indication of how much weight I want to put on my decision making. I think most people at YouTube, like they know it's a bad idea, but they're too afraid to say it. Maybe someone higher up made this decision and stuck to their guns, but their ego is too inflated. They're just blind by their egos. They're blocked by their egos to try to go back on their word. Look, he made it its natural habitat. It has a plastic bottle. <laughs> no. This is simultaneously like the saddest thing I've seen in a long time on this subreddit and the funniest comment section. You guys are all stand-up comedians. Haven Aquatic sent in this fish tank and I'm vibing with it. It's got that natural look. The bottom's covered a little bit with algae, I think. You know what, the algae actually gives it a more natural feel. There's little hints of woodscape here and there and you successfully blocked the sponge filter in the back. Very nicely done, 4.1 out of five, keep it up. The bonus secret comment of this episode is Paku. Same energy. Is that Bully Maguire doing his Bully Maguire dance? It's Bully Chur's baby. I know there's a lot of hype with the new Spider-Man No Way Home and very deserved hype. It's amazing. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. I'm a big Spider-Man fan. But go back, check out the original Maguire films. This dance, actually just watch this dance first on YouTube. Makes me absolutely speechless every single time. Cheers. My crappy memes. All right, this is from Engineer Gaming. You know what? It's I'm gonna be honest with you, okay? Like, we get it. Betas love eating shrimp. <laughs> no, you just keep it up, keep it up. It's, it's still funny, okay? I just, I love your other memes, though. No cap. No cap. Pets Core Submission by Heidi. Heidi Ho. That is beautiful. Now I kind of want pho. Dude, five out of five, first of all. <laughs> no questions asked. Clean glass. Clean setup overall, actually, with the light. The texture is wild. Is that dwarf sage? It's, I think it is just dwarf sage. You are, like doing magic with a low-tech tank. And I think there's a betta fish in there, maybe? Yeah, my favorite part, definitely that crazy texture of I, what I think is dwarf sag. It could, it could be something else. But then everything else is also very lush. Like, you can tell that it's just very nicely planted, very dense. And the light right in the middle just shining. Perfect. Keep it up, bro. My dad's new girlfriend, then wife's betta fish bowl. According to her, betta fish don't need heaters and filters. Is that why she devolved from being a wife to a girlfriend? It's almost as stupid as her saying that betta fish don't need heaters or filters. The stupid part is that she has no idea why a betta fish might not need a heater or a filter. And in this case, that's the last thing we need to worry about because this betta fish is in a 0.5 gallon little bowl. Forget the heater, forget the filter. Get a new tank while you're at it. Get a new wax. This tank sent in by Nifferbug. I don't know what kind of bug a Nifferbug is, but it doesn't sound pleasant. However, this tank is looking pretty neat. You got a nice school of Rummy Nose Tetra, and for once, goodness, it seems like it should be enough space for Rummy Nose. Like a lot of people put Rummy Nose in these small containments, and that's really not how they're gonna thrive. Even this, I would say it's kind of on the smaller end of things. Rummy Nose, you see the streamlined bodies, right? They're made to swim in long places. Give them a long tank, a 20 gallon long even should suffice. 
right. This isn't a long style tank, but at least it looks big enough. It's got quite a bit of room. Very healthy red bed of fish. 3.95 out of 5, keep it up. Hell, accurate. Just like you, I assumed those are piranha and that that pleco, how is it still alive? And then I went to the comments and there was clarification that oftentimes paku are misidentified as piranhas. Just like how there's red-bellied piranha varieties, there is actually a red-bellied paku. And apparently you can tell from the shape of the mouth. So worry not, our pleco friend is safe from being chomped, but worry because how is it going to live long term in that? I can just smell the ammonia. And the colorful fruity pebbles substrate is not giving me any confidence. Fish tank sent in by Pufferfish Homie. All right, all right, I see you. You got the just a position with the naturalistic plants and the fruity pebbles. Artificial decor, what's going on? Can't make your mind up? Let me help you. Get rid of the fruity pebbles during your next rescape or new tank. Whatever the case though, the betta fish looks happy, it looks healthy, it looks like it's having it's the time of its life just swimming through the vegetation. There's floaters up top, you know ammonia is not going to be too big of an issue. Got a nice sponge filter going on, perfect filter for betta fish because it's not blowing them around everywhere, tiring them out. Just Aesthetically, it's not jiving with me too much. There's just too much artificial stuff in the way, and you know how fish tank reviews work. When it's artificial like this, I cannot give it anywhere over a 3.5 out of 5. Keep it up, you do you, not my type of stuff, but at least the fish is being taken care of very well. What a beautiful name choice. Cabarrus SP Ammonia. Out of stock, yeah! Ammonia is out of stock, let's go! Woo! Let's go! This is what I'm talking about, this is what it's all about. It is very cute though, but I wonder why it's called Ammonia. Does it maybe smell like Ammonia? It doesn't look like ammonia. I gotta admit though, I don't really know what ammonia looks like, but this ain't it, right? That's way too cute to be called ammonia. Come on. I feel like whatever the one beside it with the orange stuff, that might, that should be called ammonia. Hey guys, we've reached the end of this week's FTR. Hopefully you enjoyed it and thank you so much for your continuous support. This FTR's secret comment is sea turtle. Go look for the bonus secret comment somewhere else in this video. Make a cool little sentence with it without seeming too obvious. If you enjoyed this week's FTR, if it started your Monday off just right, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come. And don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot. Coming in hot, ventral fin dot, acclimate that With my shoal at, cure my fin rod From Carisiformes to Parachirodon, hold on There's not another fish that you can wish for Live fam says, I finna one I finna gone three days without furt I'm an addict, like fanatic I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt My Cory gang so loyal, black tetra go skirt We came to play, came to silence, gang